church. And I'm sure you are ready for what God is said to do. The best of heaven will speak on your life. Tell them congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Bring the keyboard down, it's too loud. This is your day. This is your year. Please, you may please take your seat. Holy Ghost, there is none like you. Ever dependable God, there is none like you. <clears throat> you sit upon the cycle of the earth, and Lord, you rule in the affairs of men. There is none like you. Hallelujah. We call him who is your father. The father of life. I'd like you to listen. It's the first Sunday of the year. And listen to these instructions. Your father is the father of life. Bring the stage down. In whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Whatever can't be found on your father, Binga, can be found on your life. <laughs> Listen carefully so you understand it. Thirdly, whatever can't be found on your father can't be found on your life. Consecration is getting engaged with God to become like God. When they say, consecrate yourself to me, separate yourself to me, become me. That's what he said. It is not Bola that we face 2024. It is the Bola of God facing 2024. And every time 2024 is looking at her, 2024 is seeing nothing but God. Becoming like your father. Speaking like your father. Whatever can't be found on your father, Benga, can't be found on your life. Infirmity can be on the father, not on your life. The father can't have kidney problem. You can't have it. He can't have liver failure. You can't have it. He can't have pneumonia. You can't have it. Whatever can't be found on the Father. Can't be found on your life. The Father can't be cause. He can't be under a cause. He can't be under a spell. You can't be under a cause. If it is not on the Father, it is not on my life. Say that, say that, say it louder. Say it louder, say it louder. Say it louder. My father wins everywhere. So I'm a winner. Everywhere I go, I manifest as a winner. My father can't be slowed down. My father can't be denied anything. There is nowhere I go in 2034 that men will reject me. Because I have come in the name of of the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Jesus said always, I and the Father are one. Wherever I go, the Father is there. Every time I speak, I speak not of me, but of the Father. This is not the psalm of 2023 that you know. Consecration is divine repositioning. It repositions you from the former you to the God you. Ye are God's, the children of the Most High. I will succeed in 2024. I don't know. I will succeed in the name of Jesus in 2024. I 
will succeed. I will succeed in 2024. I am speaking to the hearing of my father. I will succeed in 2024. The work of my hands will not fail. I will succeed in the name of Jesus. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. In 2024, my health will not fail me. In 2024, my health will not fail me. They will not pity me. In 2024, I am with the Father. The channel of my spirit is opened up. I am, I, I, and the Father. I want the channel of my spirit is broken up. Flesh is subdued. Emotion is silenced. The spirit of God prevails. Flesh is subdued. Emotion is silenced. The spirit of God prevails. This is my year. I command victory everywhere I go. This is my year. My doors are open. This is my year. I chase God to be like God. I chase God to be with God. I chase God to be as God. I am God on every side. Amen. You are more than enough. You are more than enough. Jehovah Jireh, my great provider. You are more than enough. You are more than enough. Jehovah Jireh. In him, I live. In him, I move. And in him, I, Olua Busala, have my being. I can't be stopped. Men will move for me. Doors will submit to me. Great and effectual doors are opened up to me. I can't be stopped. 2024 is my announcing here. I can't be stopped. Epato, Beruta, Basike, Enkoko, Birokotia, Barateke, Beruto Petu, Bisataya, Yanti Koko, Yantekelo, Ekoluta, Yemarata Kaparada. The work of my hands is a blessing. I can't be stopped in the name of Jesus. I cannot, I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I claim good health. I claim sound health. Hey, 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 hey. I am more than this. The best of heaven is on my life. The best of heaven is on my children. I can't be stopped. In Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Lord, it is no longer news and it is no secret what God can do. It is no secret what God can do. It is no secret what God can do. What is done for others, He will do for me. It is no secret what God can do. There is no new miracle. <clears throat> it's just a duplication of what he has already done. It says so much of depth and wisdom 
God has blessed Solomon with. He said, but he, right here, there is one greater than John the Baptist. The depth of grace and the unction, the anointing of John the Baptist, the anointing of a pathfinder. This is your year. This is your year. The same way you are consecrating yourself now. The same way the enemy is carrying out their own consecration. The greatest form of consecration is the consecration by the word of God. Because it is words against words. Hallelujah. Now we speak to my hearing. So also the forces of hell are speaking. To the hearing of their master. And every master is compelled under hood to carry out whatever has been brought before him. And when you see how people say, hey, Shango, 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 and they began to invoke his spirit, he will speak. They call Amadio. There's a way they will invoke his spirit, invoke his spirit, he will be forced to come out. How deep or deeper are you calling on him? The instructions have gone forth of terrible days ahead for the next five months. But our victory is in chasing him and going with him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 4, chapter 8, the AMPC version of verse 14. Romans 4, 14 to 17, the AMPC. I know it as I know my name. There is divine provision of God for you this year. You will assess help that no one from your lineage has ever witnessed. Don't think you have touched something. God told me. He said, son, I will put raw wealth in your hands. Amen. Amen. Raw. Amen. And I asked him, Lord, what is raw wealth? He said, wealth without numbers. Wealth, with, wealth without numbers. He said, I will put raw wealth in your hands. I will put raw wealth in your hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Take your seat. Romans 8, 14, the AMPC. For all, not one, all who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. All. So, the provision is for all. Bring the keyboard down a bit. The provision is for all, not for few. God is not selective. It's a, whoever is ready. A pastor can miss it. A prophet can miss it. It has nothing to do with title. A bishop can miss it. That's why I say, those that are led by the Spirit, if the priest is led by lust, he will be lost forever. As many that are led by the Spirit. He said, for the Spirit which 
you have now received, verse 15, is not a spirit of slavery. Take note of that. For what is what has come on you, Victor, is not a spirit of slavery to put you once more in bondage to fear. No! If you were facing situations that brought great fear on you in 2023, what has come on you? Amarachi is not to put you in bondage to fear. Not to put you in bondage to fear. But you have received the spirit of what? Stay on the scripture. You have received what? It's like, it's like you don't open your Bible. You are waiting for the scriptures. Do you guys have sense at all? You, you came to church. You don't open your Bible. The AL, okay, I'm reading the MPC. Sorry. Media, help them if you have sense. It says, it is. It said, but you have received the spirit of adoption. Can you see that? Eh? Someone said, what is on me? It's the spirit of adoption. Uh, say with me, the spirit producing sonship. Say it again. What is on me is the spirit of adoption. The spirit producing sonship. Say it again. What is on me is the spirit of adoption. The spirit. Producing sonship. <laughs> Said this year, what is on me is the spirit of adoption. The spirit producing sonship. Say again, what is on me is the spirit of adoption. The spirit producing sonship. It says, in the bliss of all. In the bliss of which we cry, Abba, Father. Verse 16. Which we cry, Abba, Father. It says, the Spirit himself. <laughs> the Spirit himself. As when I say it, that there is a spirit of adoption on me. Instantly, the spirit himself testify. When I declare that the spirit of adoption, that I have been adopted, the father made me his own with all my errors, with all my mistake, he bought me complete. He paid for everything. When you are about to adopt a child. You adopt every error, every deformity, every wrong journey to make the child your own. There is always full transfer of custody. The father took custody of you, sir. He said, the spirit himself does testify. Are you saying that? Together with tossing spirit, assuring tossing that he is what? Did you see that? Let's go on. He said, the spirit himself testified together with Oluwafemi spirit. Are you following me right now? Assuring Oluwafemi that he is the child of God. No matter who you are, no matter the name you were called in the orphanage home, the day you are adopted by a maker, you become a maker's child. And instantly, when a maker says, my son, come, and you say, daddy, I'm coming, the moment you respond, the spirit of a maker does rest on you. Instantly. It is an instant thing. Instantly. By the spirit of adoption. You were adopted out 
out of fear. You were adopted out of pain. You were adopted from the midst of misfortune. He took you away from misfortune, sir. I know there is backwardness there. I know your life has been faced with ups and downs as a result of ancestral cause. That's not your problem. But today, you've been adopted. Yes, sir. Bought with a price. He paid everything. And the adoption process is detailed and legit. I have been adopted. I know there is problem in my father's house, but I've been adopted out of it from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son, of his marvelous light. Someone say, my adoption is complete. Say, so, and it is genuine. Verse 17. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh. And if we are his children, then we are his what? Heirs also. Heirs of God. And what? And fellow heirs with Christ. Sharing what? Yeah. Huh. Somebody stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. I hope the media knows that their light has gone off. Stand on your feet. Say somebody, look at me, look at me. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Ma, sir, look at me. In 2024, whatever we want to stop you will be used as sacrifice for your lifting. Hello? God sent me to you. You might have played with every other year. By a prophet, Israel is saved. And by a prophet, Israel is preserved. By a prophet. But say God will not do anything except that which he has revealed to his servant, the prophet. The destiny of any man, the prosperity of any man is at the mercy of the prophet. That's why you must be careful who speaks words over you. Where is he speaking from? Of whose understanding is he declaring it? Believe in the Lord, thy God. And thou shalt be established. Believe in his prophet. And thou shalt prosper. Your prosperity is at the mercy of what is coming from your prophet. I'm speaking now because heaven has anointed me as a prophet over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I sworn to frustrate you, we go for you. Hey. In 2024, I'm speaking to the true sons and daughters in the house here. Let my God step in into your case. Let my God fix your life. Let my God change your story. Let my God change your story. Hear me and hear me where your better days have come. Take your seat. Verse 17. And if we, this must enter you now, just listen carefully. If we, his children, if we, his children, if we, if we, not if them, if we, his children, if, if we are his children, then we are his heirs also. You know what I mean by heirs? My name, your name is in his will. He has apportioned something for Joanne, something good. And if God apportioned anything, no man can touch it. The spirit of the Lord follows it. Every apportioned blessing carries God's spirit. Every apportion blessing. Oh my God. You see this year, your parents will rejoice over your life. Amen. I won't let go. I won't let go. Jesus took me by the hand. He 
took me by the hands. I won't let go. He took me by the hands. Amen. Every apportioned blessing carries his spirit. I have never started the journey of any year, any month, any week thinking of the promises of any mother. Since I took this word and I accepted this commission on the journey of this assignment, I put aside every help I knew. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author, at the same time the finisher. An uncle can see me start a business, but we not, might not live to see the middle of it. He dies anyhow, but the one I'm connected to cannot die. He's the maker of all things. Is the creator of all things. He is the life-giving spirit to every and anything that will work. Hello, sir. Except what you are looking for is that which is possible, then you don't need God. For man, it's an impossible thing. Look at us. Look at us. To complete IWC, we need over two, three hundred and twenty million naira to bring it to the desire of result that we have seen. And we are looking forward to the dedication of it this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then wisdom demands that we need God, the owner of silver and gold. You think you are the owner of the day? Time and chance are to it all. And he is the Lord of time and chance. He owns the day. People plan, make elaborate plan. But God has the last word. And guess what? He has brought us. All we need to do is submission. He has brought us to the celebration of his lavish gift giving. You forget who is God. When you look at your friend, you think your help is in their hands. And you get disappointed when they don't show up. Who told you you are at the mercy of the help of man? No! Looking unto Jesus. The author the finisher of our faith. Speaking on the subject adopted for victory. If you look at in verse 14, those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Say, for the Spirit which you have not now received is not a spirit of slavery. To put you once more in bondage to fear. He said, but you have received the spirit of adoption. The spirit producing sonship. Therefore, January 2024 is declared as a month. I am adopted for victory. I am what? Say it three times. Say it three times. Let him hear you. So I'm going to be taking you into this, you know, series this month. I'm going to open your eyes to your destiny. Hello, sir. Listen carefully. The revival that will preserve not just Africa, but the nation of the heart is not coming from Europe. It's not coming from the United States. It's coming from Africa. They brought this 
power to us, but they have lost it. We took it. Our body got soaked in the spirit. We embrace it and we become it. What they introduced to us, they make a jest of. Because the Bible says, Out of Zion, Obadiah 121, shall proceed the saviors. By the wisdom of God, you have the creative understanding for economics. You have a creative understanding for commerce. By the wisdom of God, you have creative understanding for business. He says, I am the law that teacheth thee how to make profit and lead thee in the way thou shouldest go. Not every way is a way. Not every way. Not every way. Not every way. Lord, my heart is on you. For I tell, if you see me talking to God, if you would do anything, use me. You know what they call a commando? It's just one thousand a man, a thousand soldier. A man who can take over a thousand. Lord, whatever you need to get a thousand men to do, use me. I have been adopted for victory. He brought me out of shame and he said, look son, your life and assignment at the Tony is for anything victory. Wherever victory is not mentioned, that's not you. Hello sir, this year, I'm not talking of May. From this Monday tomorrow, your mate will know in the same business that you have moved. Amen. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> they will know that there is, we are the same, but there is level. We do the same business, but there is level. We're in the same office, but there is level. Hello, sir. Henceforth, anywhere you enter, they will recognize this spirit. Amen. You know what they call it? The spirit producing sonship. Anywhere you enter, you become a son. You enter a governor's office, he's looking at you, seeing his son. You enter the, the minister of finance, he sees you, he's seeing his son, and no one denies his son. You are before the president of the nation in the heat of the crowd. Over 1,000 people looking at him. And he just turned like, he said, you, 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 yes, you, come here. From the crowd. There is a spirit on you. The grace of divine recognition. A spirit that cannot be silenced. I have been adopted. I no longer carry the spirit of Ujo, whereby the things that are common to them begin to manifest on my life. No, I have been separated, translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his marvelous. Yes, I bear Ojo, but I've been translated. Take your seat. This is my year, it's not a statement, it's a walk. Are you following me right now? Be serious with God in everything. God is how you undo him. God is who you see him. If you handle him as ginger, ginger, that's how he will be to you. If you take him serious, he becomes serious with you. If you stand up, irrespective of what any man, any prophet have told you, that a prophet told you he can see darkness does not mean your life is dark. What are you saying? Jeremiah, yes my Lord, what see thou? He didn't need to go and ask prophet before Jeremiah. What do you guys see about Jeremiah? You are the first prophet of your soul. It doesn't matter what has been declared. 
are you following me on daily basis if all you stumbled on is your god who has daily loaded you with benefit a thousand will fall by the right god has said that ten thousand on the other side he said and nothing shall by any means hurt you on whose side do you stand i have been adopted something was wrong yesterday so much must have been wrong years before I was born in my family. But I have been adopted. You don't understand. You don't understand. You know there are some adoption that you don't have choice. You just say to yourself, I submit now. Are you following me right now? It doesn't matter how whatever anybody will say about the president. Or somebody is just saying rubbish now about Buari. He has left. Are you following right now? And suddenly he just writes to you now. I wrote everything. The Mitokwe is my son. Even though Wari is a full animal, instantly the Mitokwe will say what? I am the Mitokwe Buari. In fact, before, yes, now he will not say I'm the Mitokwe Buari full ani. In fact, his own biological father will say, You are the Mitokwe Buari full ani. Shall I see me? Remember me. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name. Every genuine and sincere consecration gives birth to wonders. Take note of that. Joshua chapter 3 and verse 5. And Joshua said unto the people, the KJV, sanctify yourself, consecrate yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Maybe you don't know why we meet here. It's not just because we felt like meeting and we decide everybody should come in white raiment, and we form a tradition. No, no, this is not a tradition. This is a revelation. I don't think there are very much church that start their fasting on Sunday. Virtually all of them start on the 8th. But from the inception of the ministry, God told us we start the first Sunday of the month. We consecrate ourselves. It was a divine instruction. He said, but from tomorrow, we, we met a name, sir. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name. Adoption for victory. Adopted for victory. Adoption is the act of being adopted. It is from the word adopt. Meaning to choose or take as one's own. To choose or take as one's own. When God adopted us, listen, we become totally his own. Hold on. The things that used to be for us were taken away. He separates us from the entanglements. He free us from the bondage. God is speaking to you. He sent me to you. He free you from family costs. There are some common reoccurring things you used to know. I stand on the authority of the name Jesus. It will not repeat itself this year in your life. When 
adoption takes place, it involves all of the above. Now listen. When adoption takes place, it involves the following. One, your filthiness is adopted with you. you. It doesn't matter how rough you are. The parent that comes to adopt you, once they see you, sir, it doesn't matter how tattered you look. The first day they come, what happened? There must be acceptance. That's where the journey become from. If you want to adopt a child and they bring the child out and look so tattered, horrible, and you say, oh, God, you can't change this child's element. The orphanage will never hand over that child to you. When you are longing for a child, every of the filthiness, the error of the child, you don't see. 2024, in the name that's above every other name, you will move forward. Amen. Number two, your shortcoming is not left out. Your shortcoming is not left out. Every written ordinance is blotted out. It doesn't matter whether you were picked up from the dustbin or from the dung hill. They blot all of that out. They, you don't grow and walk in a house and they begin to tell you such story. No. You are now the son of Ugo. It didn't look like it. How it will come. There had been a promise of the perfection of beauty for Israel. For the liberty of Israel. And everyone that was coming looked so great. But there was a woman whose family name cannot be written off. Her name was called Mary. The Bible says she was pure in heart. And God found her worthy to be the carrier of the Messiah. She was not of the tribe of Jesse. She was not part of it. Her family trees has nothing to write home about. But it pleased the Lord by her Adoption, that she has to be the carrier of the savior of the whole world. And because God has sworn that every thing must come from the root of Jesse, God visited Joseph. Joseph, I know you are not the one that impregnated Mary. Mary is carrying my child. But Joseph, sir, Joseph, sir, Joseph, sir, adopt Jesus. <laughs> Even your Lord was adopted. Your Lord was adopted. With every of the process, your Lord was adopted. What comes with adoption? Number three, everything about your past and present. The greatest blessing of a life is adoption. It enlists us with what we don't deserve. By God adopting Mary, she became Hail Mary, mother of Jesus. Every time there is an adoption. Honor follows. It doesn't matter how filthy you are. I know you don't even know how to pray. You don't even know what our God's plan for you. If you don't know anything, don't care to know. Just know you've been adopted. And all you need to do is just follow the adoption process. If they adopt you today, and they bring you, put in the car, and say, this is your car. You know, when you enter, you see, nice. After a little while, you see like this. After a little while, you see like this. After a little while, you cross a leg like this. After a little while, I say, the driver, come and turn this side now. And they say, yes, boss. You've been given power, sir. 
sir. You've been, the devil is scared of you and he doesn't want you to know this. You've been given power. Are you following me right now? You've been given power. You've been given power. So much of power. The spirit producing son. Listen, you know, the spirit adoption. The spirit producing sonship. Sonship that was not there. Producing it. The spirit producing life. Life that was not there. The spirit producing grace. Grace that was not there. Let me tell you something. There are my family member. That it is me. Who will put them on flight to come when IWC will be dedicated? Let me tell you something. Plenty of my family members don't know anything. Only only two of my brothers know that something is going. Nobody knows anything. Nobody nobody even know. Even if they are sitting online now watching me, this statement I'm saying, they will hear it. The spirit, I'm telling you, the spirit around me will silence. I'm telling you, it will just silence. What is what I want them to hear? They hear out. There is a spirit producing sonship, and there is also a spirit that filters what should come to them. They will just hear another one. When I'm saying Jesus is doing this, they will be seeing a crew. That's the time they will feel longing for it. Do you know what it takes to be hid in Christ? Before they see anything about you, they have to see Christ first. They have to see Christ first. I was wearing slippers with jeans in the course of the week. I went towards my father's house. Everybody was looking like me, like one other riffraff. He's in a short while. But the time is coming. Boom, you can't even cover it. It cannot be bold. And then you just tell all of them, come, what you think is impossible, come and see it. I'm speaking this year, 2024. God will use you to frustrate your enemies. I'm going to continue this message on Sunday. But sir, there's so much for you this year. You know what Christ said to me? He said, you didn't deserve me. I wanted you. <laughs> you didn't deserve me. I wanted you. He said, because I wanted you. I gave you my all. <laughs> Let me say it to you. You didn't deserve God, sir. Toby. He wanted you for himself. And by all means, He's ready to terminate anything, sacrifice anything, fight anyone just to have you. Do you know who you are? Say, I am so important for the Father's love. Stand on your feet. Now let me give you some good news. The first thing has already started. I'm going to share some things with you before we close about the fast. It will help you. But don't joke with 2024. Are you listening to me? Don't what? Joke. There are some doors foolish saints cannot open. You just need his hand. Don't bear me for Somebody pray. The impartation has started already. The impartation has started already. Hold it. Hold it. Just for the sake of those who don't know the song, it means the hand of the Lord is upon me. And by the hand of the Lord is lifting me up. And the hand of the Lord is giving me speed. Are you following me right now? Just sing along with the song. It's a powerful song. When the Spirit rests on you, 
it brings you ahead. chapter you must not miss. No lukewarmness should be entertained. Not unto us, O Lord. Not unto us. But unto your name, Lord, give glory. For thy truth and thy mercy sake. Let every one of us standing here, wherever you are, across the nations of the heart, I speak on this consecration service day. May God in 2024 consecrate you for good works. May the God, oh thank you Jesus. The Lord said your testimony is coming in the fullness in January. He says everything you ask him is collapsing time and he's doing everything in January. Something happened and now I know he touched me and man he, he touched me he touched me he touched me I, I know, know the joy the feel my soul <laughs>
name not bearing Christ that has sworn to frustrate you this year shall be frustrated by the force of heaven. 2024 you shall be the bearer of good news. The evidence of God's grace we produce mighty signs in your life. In 2024, you will dip your feet in oil and your ends in gold. In 2024, everything will be easy for you. In 2024, God will grant you supernatural speed. Amen. In 2024, you are consecrated for good works. Amen. The best of ever finding expression. Amen. The grace of God speaking. Amen. Now somebody told me, I've been adopted, been adopted. By, God by God and the spirit of adoption Producing sonship is at work on my life and thereby making victory cheap. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus.